Hello and welcome to Philosophy Vibe, the channel where we discuss and debate different philosophical ideas. Today we're going to be looking at moral scepticism. So then, how familiar are you with moral scepticism? Well, the central idea of moral scepticism is that moral knowledge does not exist, that no one in the world has any moral knowledge, and in fact no one can ever have any moral knowledge. Scepticism is all about doubt, so moral scepticism is the doubt of morality. Yes, correct. Now a popular version of moral scepticism is known as the error theory. This was put forward by J.L. Mackey. Mackey argued that all moral claims are essentially false. Note here that Mackey does not say moral claims cannot be known, but instead he argues that they are actually false. So if I was to say murder is wrong, that statement is a false statement, it is incorrect. If I was to say murder is right, that statement is also false. If I was to say giving to charity is morally right, that statement is also false. Do you see? Yes, I understand. All moral claims are in error. Exactly. So how does Mackey reach this conclusion? Well, first we must understand Mackey's conceptual claim. Mackey explained that the moral realist concept of morality is a requirement that is objectively categorical. When a moral realist believes that a certain action is morally good, they believe this to be an objective fact that is true and will always be true, and require that all people act in this way as a categorical rule. It does not matter what desires or motivations individuals have, the morally right action is the morally right action, no matter the circumstance. Yes, I can see that. So his first way of denying the truth of any moral objective fact is the argument from relativity. Mackey looks at how different societies have different ideas of morality. What is morally acceptable in one society may be considered morally wrong in another. How, if moral claims are an objective fact, is there moral differences between people? Well, this does not necessarily mean that all moral claims are false. People can disagree on objective facts all the time. Many scientists disagree about a range of different objective facts. It does not mean that they are all false. Well, Mackey uses the example of two cultures' views on monogamy. While one sees this as morally right, another culture may practice polygamy and see this as morally right. Is it really plausible that one culture has discovered the moral truth or the moral fact with regards to marriage, whereas the other culture has yet to discover this? Doesn't it seem more likely that monogamy developed in one culture, polygamy developed in another culture, and the moral views towards marriage developed based on this? Well, why are you just focusing on moral disagreements? What about the certain fundamental rules that are the same in all societies? For example, cold-blooded murder is seen by all societies as morally wrong. As this is shared by all, is it not reasonable to argue that cold-blooded murder is wrong? is an objective moral fact. Well, here is where I would like to raise Mackey's main argument in favour of the error theory. This is known as the argument from queerness. Mackey claims that a belief in moral objective values is actually quite strange. The argument from queerness is split into two arguments, the metaphysical argument and the epistemological argument. Okay. Now, with regards to the metaphysical aspect, Mackey argues that our concept of morality or moral properties would be qualities or relations of a very strange sort, utterly different from anything else in the universe. What do you mean? By this, Mackey means that if morality was objective, moral properties would have to be intrinsically action-guiding and motivating. So morality would somehow motivate us or provide us with reasons for action independent of our desires and aversions. We would be drawn to do what is moral for no other reason other than because it is moral and our feelings or desires are completely irrelevant. Yes, I would agree. But do moral properties work like this? If a child was about to steal something, you would say to the child, stealing is wrong. Suppose the child asks, but why is stealing wrong? You would most probably give examples of consequences of stealing. You will be disliked, you will not be trusted, you will go to prison, etc, etc. So those are the reasons not to steal, but the question has not in fact been answered. Why is stealing wrong? And more so, if someone desired to steal and was in a situation where they could steal without any consequences, 
What reason do they have not to steal? I see. So if someone desired to steal and was in a position where they could steal without consequences, they have no reason not to steal. Morality then goes out the window, showing that it is not intrinsically action guiding. Morality itself does not provide us with a reason to act in a certain way, and so moral claims cannot be objectively true in and of themselves. Interesting. Also, if there were objective moral facts, we will find ourselves in a situation with a demand for such and such action somehow built into it. So right and wrong for each situation would be a priori and completely objective. But we know this does not happen. Each situation is different. Each person's motivations and desires are different. There is no objective, intrinsic, universal, moral way to act that covers all situations. So we have good grounds to argue that all moral claims are false. Right, and what is the epistemological argument then? The epistemological argument claims that if moral properties existed objectively, how would we discover them? How would we know what action is right and what is wrong? How do we discover this moral knowledge? Well, it would be through an innate moral intuition. We are born with an intuition that allows us to recognize morality and moral facts. Yes, but Mackey argues that intuitionism as a theory has long been out of favor. The idea that when faced with a moral situation, someone can just sit down and think and reach the moral truth is very problematic. This can actually lead to devastating consequences as people will be adamant that they are acting in a morally right way based on what they have reasoned to be right and wrong. Well, maybe Mackey has disregarded moral intuitionism too quickly. I disagree. Intuitionism is very unpopular. Where does this moral intuition come from? It seems you would need to put in place some sort of supernatural being that can recognize morality and ingrain within our minds some special faculty that allows us to recognize this. This does not seem plausible or something that can be proven by anything other than faith. Look, just because something may be a queer entity and the knowledge we get from this entity is unlike anything else, it does not mean that this knowledge is categorically false. Also, Crispin Wright objected to Mackey's error theory and argued that the essence of moral judgments is to aim at the truth. If, however, the error theory claims there is no moral truth to hit, then how are we supposed to take ourselves seriously in thinking the way we do about any issue we regard as major moral importance? If we are so passionate about our morals and we care so deeply about them, how can we remain serious about them if at the same time we agree our moral judgments are false? Well, Mackey responded to this and explained that the reason people should hold on to their morals, even though they are false, is to solidify social cohesion and enjoy the benefits of social cooperation. We believe in morals and act according to our beliefs to be able to maintain a well-functioning society. Even though our morals may be false, following these false morals leads to a better functioning society. It seems Mackey has kind of agreed that social cohesion is desirable. Is that not kind of admitting that a well-functioning society is morally good and something we should aim towards as a collective? Hmm. So any action the individual makes in pursuit of this would make it morally good and any action that goes against the bettering of social cohesion would be morally bad. That is a good point, but that's all the time we have for now. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed the vibe, and what does everybody else think? Do you think that moral statements are false? Do you doubt the existence of morality? Are you a moral skeptic? Or do you think moral properties do exist? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and help this channel grow. Take care and we'll see you all soon.